Welcome to the exciting world of Pappy's Art Adventures. The window to your imagination. Hi everybody, welcome to Pappy's Art Adventures. The window to your imagination. Did you know that the puppets that you see on TV take a great deal of skill and imagination to create? Why, the ones you see on movies and television can be made out of wood, plastic, metal, foam rubber, cloth, paper mache, and the list goes on. But on today's art venture, we're going to make an old-fashioned sock puppet, just like this one. You mean like me? Just like you. So what are we waiting for, boys and girls? Let's find out what materials we need to make today's project, which is you. All the materials for this project I found at my local craft store. You'll need some bright colored stretchy knee socks. I thought these colors looked fun. You need cotton or some kind of soft material for stuffing. Two wooden balls with a flat side. A couple of wiggly eyes that will attach to the flat part of the wooden balls. You'll need some white or off-white acrylic paint and a brush to paint the puppet's eyes. You'll need a hot glue gun to glue the eyes and other parts of our puppet. You'll need colored pom-poms, and they have many assorted colors. We'll attach those to the end or the nose of the sock puppet. And finally, you'll need some fuzzy material for the top of the sock puppet's head. This fuzzy or feathery type of material comes in many assorted colors. Let's get started. Step one. Before we stuff our sock, make sure that the open end is towards you. Locate the heel of the sock and then turn it over. Now this is where the stuffing will go. Uh, make sure you stuff enough to cover the top portion of your hand. I like to make sure the stuffing I cover the top of my hand from the knuckles to the tip of my finger. Step two. The next step is to paint the wooden balls. I'm going to use a piece of clay and two long screws. This will make painting the balls much easier. Insert the screw into the hole in the bottom of the ball. Now paint the ball. This is really a neat technique. And when you're done, press it into the clay and let it dry. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other ball. By inserting the screw like this and holding it as a handle, if you tried to hold the ball in your hand and paint it, it would be very difficult. There we go. So this technique works well. And again, press it into the clay to dry. Now we're ready for step three. Now we're going to glue the balls together. Place them flat side down, and you can see where we have to apply the glue. So we'll put a dab right here and push them together. Remember, younger children shouldn't use a glue gun without adult supervision. Step four. Now it's time to glue the eyes on. Apply some glue to the flat portion of the wooden balls. And take one of my wiggly eyes and press it into the glue gently and center it just like so. Now I'll apply some glue to the other ball and place the other wiggly eye in position. And there you have the puppet's eyes. Step five. 
Now we're going to take our pom-poms and glue them to the front of our puppet. Uh, one dab of glue right there, another dab of glue. The pom-poms are spaced about an inch to an inch and a half apart. Press them firmly in position. Alrighty. Step six. Now take the eyes and position them on the top of the puppet. Oh, just about three and a half to four inches back from the nose. Apply some glue, a little less than the width of the balls. We want just the bottom of the balls touching the glue. Now press firmly, like so. Good. and allow for them to dry. This shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Step seven. Before we put hair on the puppet, why not use your imagination and think of some different ideas? For instance, you could put sunglasses on the puppet, you could put a hat on the puppet. All these accessories can be found in the doll section of your craft store. I'm going to apply this black fuzzy material for the puppet's hair. Now I want to apply some glue to the fuzzy material and place it behind the eyes of our puppet. And gently press it in place. and allow it to dry. Just to make sure that it's securely glued. There. A finished, old-fashioned sock puppet. Check it out! Hey kids, here's a real simple puppet project. I'm going to use these special crayons I bought for painting on skin. I bought them at my local art store. I'm going to paint a hand-painted puppet. I'm going to start out by using the color white to make eyes right above the thumb. Then I'll make red lips here. And I'll fill that in. The neat thing about these crayons is that you can wash them off easily, and they're non-toxic. And there you see the beginning of the two eyes. You can see that it's starting to look like a face. Now I'll outline the eyes in black. like that. Now some eyebrows. And place two dots inside the white area. Just like so. Now, right where my thumb meets my index finger, I'm going to use my red crayon to create some lips. And once I know where the upper lip's going to be, I can open my hand just like this, red lipstick. Now I'll draw the, the lower lip right above the thumb. When your hand is closed, you'll know exactly where to put the lips, just like so. She has lovely lipstick on. Let's see what she has to say. How are you? I love you. I love 
you. That was cool. Here's another great puppet idea. And the fun thing is, we're going to make it using a clothespin. That's right, a clothespin. Let me show you. Here's what you'll need. A pair of scissors, some craft glue, a black medium tip marker, colored markers, a four by six index card, and a clothespin. The first thing we're going to do is Turn the index card over, blank side up, like so. Now I'm going to draw a cartoon of a dog. Alrighty, two oval eyes. Now I'm going to put two more smaller circles inside them. Good. Now one slightly curved line right here, and another on the other side. Now the rest of the face. Just like so. All right. His face looks like a pear shape, doesn't it? Now I'll put a big oval nose. Now I'm going to uh, color in his nose, leaving a white spot and a straight line right below his nose. Now for his ears. One ear right there. A small curved line for the top of his head. Now I'll draw his other ear. There. You'll notice that I drew the dog's face on the lower portion of the index card. And I did that because it makes it easier to cut out. I'm going to draw his lower jaw. I put it right near the bottom. Now there's the lower jaw. Very nice. Okay, let's color it in. I chose a blue marker, as you can see, to color his face and jaw. Of course, you can choose any color you'd like. If you don't have any colored markers, uh, you can use crayons, colored pencils, Or you could even, even use colored paper to draw on. That way you don't even have to color it. I really enjoy this part of the project, which is coloring. Did you know that you can stop this video at any time and catch up on what you're doing? Or if you have a problem or a question, you could always stop the video and go back or forward by using the controls right below the main screen. Now I'll just finish up the chin like so. Very good. Now the next thing we need to do is to cut out his face. I'm trying to stay right outside of the black line as I cut away. You know, it's very important that when you're using your scissors, never point them at anyone. And you younger children should be using safety scissors. And of course, if you don't have any, you should have adult supervision. There. Now that we're done cutting the dog's face, I'm going to cut out the chin. And again, I'm being careful not to cut away the black line. Now right here, I cut further away from the black line to create the effect of teeth. Very good. Now we have two separate pieces. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to glue the chin piece to the lower part of the clothespin. Just like this. I'm going to apply a small amount of glue right here. I like to use uh, this tacky type glue because it sets rather quickly. Notice that I positioned it so you can still see the upper part of the clothespin. Now I'm going to apply a small amount of glue to the upper part of the clothespin. Now place the dog's face so it just overlaps the top of the chin. 
just like so. Once you're done positioning it, just take and place it face down to dry. It's dry now, so let's make our dog bark. Here's a cool tip. Take an index card and fold it like this so that it stands up. Now cut a notch on the other end, about the width of the clothespin. Now draw a body of a dog, like this one. Place the puppet on top, and now you have a full-bodied puppet. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining me on today's art venture. I hope you enjoyed making our sock puppet today. Until our next venture, you keep practicing, you keep drawing, and be the artist that you can be.